We're uh, on our way to Mount Sopris. Gonna do a little, maybe some skiing, maybe a little climbing. Very low, low commitment to uh, to really either. Uh, right now, we just want to make it to the trailhead. Been showing off again, getting outside of the car ruts, which pretty much means we don't move forward. Almost. Well, everyone else was smart enough to turn back, not us. You ready? Those are the end of the tracks. Those are the very last people to go. Uh, and now we're going. I'm ready. Not so impressive. I'm pretty sure we made it about a foot past the previous tracks. Driving out of my side view mirror. I'm trying to stay in my left rut. There's no way this is a bad idea. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, fuck. Yes. Oh. No, keep going. <laughs> this is great. No. No. Ben, stop. Crash <laughs> bandicoot over here. Oh, you're doing 20. But this shit's flying by. He's <laughs> gonna out of control. He's <laughs> gonna. He's gonna hit something. And I'm gonna get this video camera right in my face. <laughs> well, we finally made it to the point where we couldn't make it any further. Jewish cows his car. On the uphill here. Got stuck. And we decided that we're spending more time trying to ramp our way through all the snow that would take just to skin up to our campground. Well, here we are, in the middle of our trek. There's a trail. Um, we picking up. Tyler had some issues with uh, some blister. blistering. Not good. About uh, probably an hour in. Yep, about an hour. We are about 70, 6, 7700 feet above sea level. And you can't see it now, but Sobris is behind that peak up there. And, um, and it's about 13,000 feet. You got a ways to go. Until well, next time. March the 4th, so this is our uh, third day out on the trail. Uh, we're getting a lot closer to Sopris. Uh, I think we're, oh, I think we're about uh, 30 miles in, third day, it's about right. Uh, so it, it shouldn't be much more than a couple hours uh, up to base camp, and we're gonna dig ourselves a little, uh, little pit and uh, line up the tarps, and then uh, tomorrow, probably head for either the summit or uh, around the bowls a little bit. So, here we are. Middle of our trip, maybe. Um, snow skiing, what do you call this? Skinning. Skinning in. Um, it gives you a little tour of how to skin. There's Tyler. Gets skis. AT, which means Alpine Touring, I think. Um, pretty much. We just walk uphill, and on the bottom of your skis, hey Tyler, can you lift your, one of your legs up? You need a nice little shot of that. Oh, I can almost see that. Oh, oh. <laughs> he didn't fall over first. There we go, see that, that orange thing is like really soft, or really, it's just carpet pretty much. Yeah. So one side is really smooth going one way, and the other side is the hairs increase your friction to, uh, well, walk uphill in snow without sliding backwards. So without further ado, this is us skinning in. One, two, three, four. My baby don't hang around. Now, 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 now
<laughs> My baby don't mess around because she loves the sound and baby that's for sure. My pickles taste really salty. Like them that way. Delicious for sure. Hey yo. Uh oh. Hey yo. Oh oh. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Hey, yo. Well, here we are again. Finally got our next view of our mountain. It's gonna be awesome. Brace yourself. There's something happening. Those are just clouds. And there she is. Right there. There's a man with a gun over there. Telling me Far right peak. That's our destination. Now, I'm wondering, Kyle, what's this gigantic hole you dug this for? Well, we'll be camping tonight in a three <laughs> to four foot deep hole. And we'll have a tarp covering us. And um, we'll have the ground pad beneath us. And then our sleeping bags. And probably all of our clothes. That said, I'm gonna need to change some longer pants, better pants. Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome to my crib. You'll be joining me today in my winter wonderland. It'll be fantastic. Come on, follow me. See right here, I've got some nice ferns. Pretty fantastic. Wild, the way I love it. Um, just follow me into this area over here. We've got my walk-in kitchen, complete with a stove and pot, and a thermos, and shelter from the wind once you can start cooking. Very nice. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you where the magic happens. <laughs> This right here, this is my skylight. I love the blue tint inside the room. If you follow me in, this is what it's gonna be like all night long. So, check this out. Room for two, the way I like it. it means we're keeping this place nice and hot. Oh yeah. Please join me next time when I show you my cribs underwater. Well, we made it through the night. It's always good. It's about 7.30, about 10,000 feet up. And well, now we're gonna have some breakfast, a little ramen, chocolate, and an apple. So, see you later.